Look at that drift. <laughs> that was full throttle. <laughs> Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to take the Arma Felony and we are going to put some inner fender wells on the Felony. We're going to install it. These are from Scorched Parts. I guess, is it Scorched RC or just Scorched Parts? Scorched Parts. And we're going to, there we go. Scorched Parts, there we go. We got decal and everything. Stickers. Stickers, all right. Isn't that the best when you get stickers? I never stick them on anything, but it's always a nice little prize, right? So anyways, the way they work is you're supposed to, oh, I am, there's so much shadow right there. Here, let's get on this side, there we go. Let's take the body off. And they, apparently they attach there and like down here on the front and on the rear. And they prevent dust and dirt and stuff from getting up inside the body and everything else. And it also helps and keeps the tires from rubbing the inside of your body to, uh, you know, keep it from damaging the paint on the inside. And I don't know how well it's gonna work. It may overheat everything. I'm gonna actually going to, we're gonna run it and what we're going to do is we're going to do some, uh, put the body back, there we go. We're going to check the temperature with my little, um, I forget what it's called, a thermometer. Thermometer, that's what, that's what you check the temperatures with, <laughs> thermometers. Yeah, we're going to take it out to the park and we're going to check the uh, temperature. We're going to do some runs and, and we'll even like uh, take the, uh, the fender wells off and we're going to uh, do some runs too and we're going to see how the temperature changes if it changes if I can even tell a difference I don't know and uh, hopefully this will let you guys know if you should put these onto your felony or if they are just too Like restrictive on the airflow. So in the bag they actually send you Scissors these are Lexan scissors To cut them out with and they have a curve to them so you can cut kind of curve and um, hmm, What are those the inner fender mud guard kit shows you where to cut them out and okay that's where those go so these right here go on your body mount post you have to cut that section out too apparently so i know you're probably looking at the outside of it and wondering where you're exactly you're supposed to cut it at you look on the inside and the lines are very well defined you can see exactly where you're supposed to cut on the inside on the outside it's kind of difficult to see on the inside it's much easier let's go ahead and see how well these scissors okay these things don't Okay, this may be <laughs> this may be difficult. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it started. Wow, this stuff is really tough. Maybe I should get a Dremel tool out with this thing. Oh, that cuts perfect. First, I'm gonna separate these two first. See if I can even do this. Oh, that's not much easier. You know what? The scissors might not have been too bad. On the really thick parts, the scissors don't work very well at all. Yeah, this part right here is just really, really thick. It is much thicker right there than it is over on this side. So I imagine going around this is going to be a lot easier. So now let's let's give it a try with the scissors one more time. I found it easier if you cut off all the, the edges like this here, the excess edges. The excess, excess edges. <laughs> not excess, I don't know what I'm saying. And uh, some of this is really thick. But once you cut it off like this, it makes it easier to get closer into everything. All right, two down. I'm gonna clean these up with a Dremel tool. Now we got two more. I kind of a pain in the butt, <laughs> honestly. Oh, this one's this one's super easy to cut. The plastic is a lot thinner on this one. And remember, you're following that edge is what you're not trying to cut past. Let's go from this angle over here. It's kind of an awkward angle for me to cut like this in front of the camera. So ideally you want to go away from your hand, <laughs> but it's kind of difficult to film it. Like I've never filmed and cut anything like this before. So, and now I can go back and I can trim the rest of this. It's easier to trim the rest of it after you cut that one piece off. So now we're trying to go around this corner. There we go. Let's get on the straight part. Flip the scissors around. All right, we got them all trimmed out. I'm gonna go back over with the Dremel tool and clean up these edges because you don't want these burrs and stuff like that.
so i got them all trimmed out and they do have like it's not like birds really it's just uh the plastic that kind of melted as i was using the dremel on it you can go back over there with a file I, I may do that i don't know i don't know if i feel like it or not not today i won't do it i might do it later but let's go out to the park and we're going to run the felony without these on it and we're going to measure the engine temperatures and then we're going to stick these on there and see what the temperatures look like all right guys so it's a nice 73 degrees out here and we're going to run it pretty hard i'm going to run it for uh five minutes then we'll check the temperature then we'll run it for five more minutes check the temperature again and then what i'll do is i will put on the uh the fender wells and then we'll move run it for like five or ten minutes and check the temperature and see what it looks like after we put those on there and just so you know a cold motor is apparently about 81 degrees i don't know if you can see that or not so it's cold right now i haven't ran it at all but uh yeah let's get this thing rolling <laughs> slinging rocks on me <laughs> Look at that drift. <laughs> that was full throttle. <laughs> Yeah, you can really see all the debris and rubber that's, that's up inside there. That's a lot, man. Yeah, you can see I think that long, that really long full throttle drift really tore those two tires up. <laughs> and this, this asphalt is a lot rougher than what I was driving on before. So I guess I, I'm going to have to go out to the other park to save tires. But this is all I'm going to be doing today. So we're going to, I guess we'll finish these tires off today and, and get a new set. All right, so let's do, undo these two screws right here. This one goes over here, so it's supposed to go in like that, along with these two screws right here. There you go. Man, there's tons of dirt and stuff up underneath there, so put this down. And this is where the instructions say to do it too. It says to do it between this piece. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna take a screw out right there. That piece comes off. This goes on like that. This goes on like this. You can see the fenders are on there. So I gotta trim the bottom of that real quick and then we'll stick it on there it'll be good to go all right i had to take a break and go take my wife out for dinner and now i'm back so let's get over here in the sunlight while we still got some sunlight and you can see how filthy the inside of this thing is look how much rubber is on like the box and the parts and everything especially back here you can really see the rubber built up right look at that all right, I'm going to blow this off so we can see how much rubber is on there after we drift it around with the uh, fenders on there. That part right there, I'm going to put the body on, it's going to sit inside of there. You have to trim these right here back, and this is where you really need to trim it out at. That piece has got to clear this right here. The problem I'm having is that this piece right here hits right up inside of here. You can see it. It actually wore through the paint on that side. And so now I got a spot on my body where you can see through the paint. 
So I don't know if we can just clear that hole out and move it over and it'll be better or, or what, but, or if I just need to cut this in, it looks like even if I cut this, this piece right here looks like it sits right up inside of that fender and it just doesn't, like it doesn't go any further um, down, the body doesn't. So I don't know if you just have to move this over to that hole right there or what. I don't know, I'll mess around with it and find out. There you go, you can see that piece sitting right up against the body. Okay, I think this is gonna work better. So I'm gonna take this body reamer right here and I'm going to punch a hole in it right there. So you can do this with however, however you choose. But yeah, this body reamer is very expensive. So I got it because I make a lot of custom bodies. So this thing's like $45 or something, it's crazy. All right, I'll have to use a razor to cut. Rest this out. That reamer just isn't trimming the inside of this correctly. So, there we go. All right, this right here should go there. And this one will go right in there like that. So this piece right here is still hitting. So we're gonna trim, let's mark it with a razor blade. We're gonna trim that piece off right there. All right, we'll trim this back. Now let's see if it fits. All right, now it fits. And that piece sits just like that. So you'll have to push it down a little bit to get to the, the body post. I think it's hitting somewhere up inside of here. I'm not as entirely sure where it's hitting exactly. I'll figure it out and maybe I'll make some adjustments to it. I'll, I'll run it for a bit and see what I need to change. All right, I'm running out of daylight. So uh, we're setting it for six minutes. Not goofing off anymore. I'm not gonna drift so much for the first few minutes. I wanna try to get um, that motor heated up. Heated up, warmed up. <laughs> Before I know these tires are gonna go soon. This uh, this parking lot really grinds these tires down because of how, how bumpy it is. I saw a spark, did you see that spark? Oh, I just lost a tire. I just shredded a tire. <laughs> Here's a piece of it, <laughs> burning rubber. <laughs> oh, that ran something. How long are you running? More pieces of rubber. Yeah, I've completely lost the tire now. Oh, that is locked up. Look at that. 160, so it is running a little bit hotter. I didn't run it quite as long. Yeah, I lost the tire. Look at that. <laughs> so this wrapping around that is what's stopping it. Well, let's see how dirty it is. I don't know, maybe it's not quite as dirty. Uh, I can't, I, I, I don't think there's much of a difference, honestly, in the amount of rubber I see. Maybe it's a little bit less. Uh, I'm not sure. You can see the inside of the body right there, where it was rubbing at. And uh, this right here was rubbing. You can see the marks on it. So even though I, I moved them in like this, they're still rubbing. All right guys, so there you have it. The, the inner fender, the inner fender wells for the felony. I will leave a link down in the description so you can pick these up if these are what you want. I think for like sh driving on the street, they probably are not worth it. It seems to be, you know, increasing the temperature by a little bit. I measured, I, it was just a, a, over 150 
when I was doing it earlier today, it was even warmer then, right? It's not as warm now. It's about 70 degrees. It's cooled off a little bit. And I didn't drive it as long and the temperature got to 160. And you don't want to get temperature over 170. That's where that's where your your magnets and your and your motor start to fail. I uh I don't think this is for drifting. I don't think it's for driving on the street. I think this is for if you're driving it through water, if you're driving it through mud. I'm actually gonna take them off of my felony. This is a good little experiment. <laughs> the reason I got them is because I'm gonna be putting some extra stuff into the felony and I was kind of looking and see it, to see if these right here would stop so much of that dust and debris from getting up inside of the body. And I don't think it's going to really help. I think really, you know, on the site, they say it's really for mud. And I think that is true. I think bigger, debris like rocks and pebbles and sand and mud and things like that that will you know be thrown up and and hit the mud guard i think that is what these are for i think the rubber is just too fine and it just gets sucked in with the air to all the internal components and it just isn't it just isn't made for that uh not saying these are bad products they're not they're not if you're going to be driving through a lot of water if you're driving through a lot of dirt and in dirty places which some of you guys do that i've seen some of you guys take your felonies out through sand and mud and everything else. There's some crazy things I've seen, uh, you know, felonies uh, driven through. Mine isn't gonna be driven like that. Mine's gonna be driven, you know, pretty much on the street. I'm never gonna bring it out here again. The, uh, I brought it out here because I knew that this pavement wasn't very good and it was just, you know, grind those tires up and it did. It ate those tires. It completely destroyed those tires in no time at all. And uh, it's cause, you know, there's, you know, you can see this asphalt is just really, really, is really, really coarse. And so the other parking lot I go to, it's freshly paved and it's nice and smooth and it doesn't grind your tires down like that. They will actually last a long time out there on that parking lot. But anyways, yeah, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Like the video if you like it. Let me know if these are something you run your felony. And if you got a video of you running your felony through like the mud or something like that, just link it down in the description. I'll watch it. I'll check it out. But that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.